Thanks for stopping by. What we do have today is a meeting with a modeling agency. They want me to model? I could, I could strike a pose. I could, eyes toward the camera, catching a football. Yeah, oh, backwards. Don't know why they need that, the back of my head. Sideways look, raise the shoulder is a new one. I was told to uh, do my hair this morning. I don't think they understand. It's like an overnight process, like overnight oats. I have to wear something fashionable. So probably not my cutoff that you always see me wearing. There's a lot of, a lot of movement, a lot of movement in a piece like this. I'm a party. I'm a lot of fun. Look at me. That's what this says. This says, I want to go with you anywhere. Europe, let's go. Underground club, okay. EDM music, you bet. <laughs> I'm like Indiana Jones, but a little bit more jazzy. Like Indiana Jones if he was around in the 70s. It's like the end of a rug. I think they might have just stole that from the end of a rug. This is just a classic, is what this is. Come on, homegrown. Knitted wool, 100% wool. Think of how many sheeps had to die. Well, they don't have to die. They don't. Okay, the question is, do you have to find a brown sheep for this part and a white sheep for this? Or is it just the same sheep with dye? I bet it's dye. That would make drastically more sense. On the back tag, it says, hand wash only. Hand wash? By hand? Can you imagine me just washing it in my sink, slapping it against a rock? Just like, ah, oh, don't have a laundry machine. So do it the old school way. Current weather in New York, 18 degrees. Current amount of clothing on my back, two layers. But my heart's on fire. And that'll keep me warm. Sweatshirt, khaki pants, new shoes. Complete the outfit with my mother's jacket. Good to go. I'm working on my model walk. You guys, uh, let me know what you think. Kind of like the chin up. Yep. Sorry, can't see anything. Uh, it's a lot of shoulders too. It's not just the chin that has to be up. It's also the shoulders that have to move like snakes. See this? Imagine the background music. I'm in the restaurant where the meeting's going down. I think that's where we're doing it. It's like a conversation pit. Everyone gets to speak their mind, especially me. Look at this. Imagine you're walking up and you see some guy sitting like this. This is aggressive. This is a stance. This is a business stance is what this is. The conversation pit's full. We're at the management table. I might be a little bit underdressed. One guy's wearing a beanie. They're all in sweaters. We're about to get down to business, okay? Game face. Gotta go. Uh, yeah, it's been 30 minutes. We've laughed, we've cried. I've done most of the crying, but I think that we're going to work together. <laughs> Just finished the meeting. I've got like a two mile walk home now. But look at this thing. I don't know what it's used for. It looks like a spaceship, but not one that flies, one that just kind of looks pretty. It's like 18 degrees. I'm gonna have to get a little bit of a jog going to keep myself warm. It's Broadway, one mile left. <laughs> There's the Flatiron building. Also a T-Mobile store. Made it home safe. Home. It is still gotta get used to saying that. In one week's time, we have hit 100,000 on YouTube. Two million on TikTok. We got a modeling agency contract. And now we're in the New York Times. Every video that I make, it just, it gets more and more fun. So, um, I don't know, I'm sinking down here. I'm like, guys, don't watch me cry, man. It's embarrassing. I'm just gonna be down here. You guys take a break, I'll take one too. Okay. I'm a boiling pot of emotion. I'm a strong stew, and some of the emotions are harder than others. Some of the emotions are celery, other ones are like soft carrots, and there's some that are just like pulled pork. A pulled pork stew actually sounds delicious right now. I'd love for the next shot to be like me making pulled pork stew, but don't have a crock pot. I know I need one of those for pulled pork, right? Or at least pork. What made you audition with a British accent? <laughs> um, I think it's probably because I was watching Peaky Blinders the night before, and I don't know if it's so much British as it is Birmingham, you know? 
with Thomas Shelby's like, we're the Peaky Blinders. 